is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have one of the best videos on the channel of all time actually i don't know this i, I just think it's going to help a lot of people out here today because today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be going through my all-time favorite wwe action figure fix-ups now if you guys don't know what a fix-up is if you haven't been around the community too long you don't know what a fix-up is basically a fix-up is taking an elite like uh let me just go ahead and grab an example for you right here um so a fix-up would be so it's Say we have this Elite 75 Seth Rollins right here. A fix-up would be taking the head and swapping it with a different Seth Rollins head. Or taking the arms off and switching them with arms with different wrist tape. Or switching the kick pads with something else or so on and so forth. So that is what a fix-up is. Now a fix-up doesn't usually contain paint. It doesn't usually revolve around painting anything or anything like that. It's usually just part switching like torso swaps, head swaps, arm swaps. Pretty much using your brain to put together parts of WWE figures to create your own ultimate or you know a fix up you're fixing up the figure itself by switching the parts around that Mattel gives us in different individual WWE action figures and if you guys did not know I've said it many times here on the channel I say that my favorite part of the community is taking a figure and then taking different pieces of all kinds of different figures and fixing them up putting them together to create your own little fix up or creative idea whether it be like removing a little logo or removing some paint here and there to create an entirely different look for the character or the attire or just something all together. So see right here, I have another example. Here is a Seth Rollins fix up right here. I just took an Elite 37 Seth. I switched the head scan with the basic 102, switched the arms and kick pads and lower legs with the, and this little knee pad here with the Elite 45 Seth Rollins. And then I put the basic 102 knee pad over here to give it that Thanos look. And this is just a random fix up. It did not make it into my all time favorite fix ups, but it is one of those fix ups that I wanted to include to show you guys an example of what one might look like. So that is my favorite part of the hobby. So today we're going to showcase my favorite ones of all times that I've put together and uh, that is pretty much what this is guys. There's no painting involved in these. I don't think there's any painting involved in these. So uh, we're just going to dive in guys and I'm going to explain all of my favorites and tell you how you guys can make them yourselves if you would like to do so in this video. If you see a figure you like and you're like damn how do you make that? I'm going to tell you exactly how to make all of these figures with the parts, the figures needed and all of that ish in between. So let's shut the hell up and get into my all-time favorite fix-ups in the history of WWE Mattel, or at least the, the while I've been collecting. And I may have left some out. I'm sure I'm looking around the room right now. I bet I left off of like 12 probably that I missed out on. And if I miss out a bunch, I'll, I'll make a part two or some shish. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. So the first figure right here, I have had this figure for a very long time. This is one of, actually, if you go to a video back, back. What the hell am I saying? Back on my channel. What the hell am I talking like? If you go back on the channel maybe two years or so, you will see a video called like my top five favorite WWE figure fix-ups or something like that. And uh, this figure is in that video because this is such an old figure. This is one of the first figures that really um, I remember fixing up in my collection. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't the first one, but I rem it's the first one at least I remember or something. So basically what we have right here, guys, is a Ruthless Aggression era DX Shawn Michaels. So what I did was took the Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels. It comes with a like rubber shirt and then this hat right here, this DX hat. I took a Defining Moment Shawn Michaels head sculpt that I got off of eBay or something and I put that on there. I head swapped it because it had like that ponytail head sculpt that looks god awful now. I switched the shirt out for a cloth custom shirt with the DX with the, you know, the suck it on the front and then on the back it had them mooning. It had like their cartoon ass cheeks on the back. And then I took a 2K14 like battle pack that had like a Shawn Michaels and Triple H in it and the lower arms from that Shawn Michaels basic, I I thought the arms with the green DX armbands would look badassery on this figure. So I switched them onto the arms of the Walgreens exclusive. And you have this really like badass looking Shawn Michaels fix up, man. And I, I always enjoyed this figure so much. And uh, I, I remember creating it and I still have it up on the shelf to this day. And it's just a really cool fix up. Next up, guys, we have a figure that includes paint, but I'm leaving the paint out. I'm not talking about the paint. The paint is kind of what ruins the fix up, to be honest with you. But basically just torso swapping your Cedric Alexander. I also added a fade to the hair to make it better, but I'm not talking about that. I'm, you could you could leave out the fade, you can leave out the outsole shoe paint right here. Just torso switching your Cedric for a Kofi Kingston torso makes this figure look so much better. It looks so much more accurate, and I also added a little rubber band to give him his necklace right here because Matt, uh, Mattel painted it onto his other torso, like the Daniel Bryan store style torso. I didn't like that. I, I added a rubber band here, put the Kofi torso on there, and it looks much better. 
Really sick Cedric fix up. If you guys know how to torso swap, I highly recommend doing so with your Elite 67 Cedric. I'm such a big fan of the guy, I had to make mine accurate. Next up, guys, we have the Monday Night Messiah. Now, the reason I love this fix up so much is because it's it's very easy to make your own current Rollins, you know, uh, what he looks like on television to this day. We have this black leather jacket. I think this leather jacket came with the uh, the, the DX, not the DX. Oh, I guess it's DX. The Attitude Era Elite Triple H you can get on Amazon for like $11. I took the leather jacket from that, a black plain sh shirt that came with some figure. I think I just inverted a shield shirt or something. And then I put a basic 102 head sculpt onto a Top Talents 2018 Seth Rollins in the Monday Night Rollins attire. The right knee pad does have the SR on it. You're just going to switch that out with a plain black so they're both open. And then you're going to switch out the right hand since your hands are removable. You can switch out the right hand with a gloved hand. And I think I switched the arms with Elite 64 Seth Rollins arms because uh, the other other top talents had like SR logos on there and I wanted it to be plain black. So we actually did a whole video on how to make a current Rollins. If you guys want to check that out, I go step by step all the stuff you need to make it and uh, that is something right there. But I thought that was really excellent. Anything that you can put together to make it look like current day without getting an updated figure from Mattel or customizing slash painting, this is a really epic way to do so. So I had to include the Monday Night Messiah. Also, shout out to the person that put Monday Night Josiah down in the comment section of the last video. thought that was genius. That's why you got a pin comment. It, Brad. Next up, guys, we have this Luke Harper figure. Now, this one's pretty sweet, nasty farticles. I took the Elite 35 Luke Harper figure. I removed the little uh, bandanas from his uh, bracelet, from his bracelets, from his wrist right there. I also added a custom t-shirt that uh, that does, it, it definitely, you know, stains the figure. There's like some ink stains or whatever they use to uh, make this shirt black is staining the shit out of the figure. Very unfortunate, but uh, it looks badass nonetheless. You know, you cut the rubber shirt off of the Elite 35 Luke Harper. You put the Elite 66 head sculpt on it, and uh, it, it, this head sculpt is his best head sculpt by far. Now he's in AEW. Good luck getting a new, you know, uh, we're not going to be getting a WWE Luke Harper. The next time we get a Luke Harper, it will be a Brody Lee from the Unrivaled Collection from AEW. So, this is a figure that uh, is very fun to make. I love using it. It's very fun to pose around. I used it at Hell's Gate, and uh, I love this fix-up. I thought it was really badassery. Next up, guys, we have this one right here is actually one of my favorite fix-ups of ever done. Now, this this one's like top five all time, maybe even top three. Now, you're probably thinking, Brad, that's just an Aiden English. Yeah, it is just an Aiden English, but how sick of a fix-up this is, is fantastic. So, basically, I, I have to remove all the damn clothes because it, it, it really, you know, speaks to me. It makes it, it makes it a hundred times better. So, what we have right here is, uh, the, get, we gotta take all the accessories off. I know it sucks, but we gotta do it. So, basically, what we have right here, guys, is we had an Elite Sheamus, okay? We had an Elite Sheamus figure, and Mattel made Aiden English really, really small. They gave him the Daniel Bryan store style torso. If you guys know Aiden English, if you've seen the man shirtless, man's pretty jacked, all right? He's got good muscle tone. He's got, like, abs. He's got big arms. He's got good shoulders and lats and everything. The man is actually pretty stacked. So, basically, I took a Sheamus Elite. I switched out the arms with the Aiden English Elite from Elite Series 65, or maybe, yeah, I think I did. I did switch out the arms with the Elite 65. I put the Elite 65 head sculpt on it, and then I took some X-Pac legs, I think. X-Pac upper legs, and then like Heath Slater lower. Put the Sheamus boots on the Heath Slater lower legs. Put the Xbox legs on the uh, <laughs> on the Sheamus, and then uh, just added all these accessories. You got a sleeveless Happy Rusev Day shirt. You got the scarf. You got the glasses. You got the entrance robe that came with his Elite Series 65 figure. Great fix-up. Fantastic. I just love how we made it. Like uh, it, You know, he wears plain black tie anyway. So it's just a really beautiful looking fix up that I enjoy so much. Next up guys, we do have Jack Swagger. Now this one's actually pretty pretty excellent. I took like the Elite 34 Swagger and I took the head off and put it on the battle pack with Triple H to give him that, you know, presidential look that he has on MDT Live. But also the WrestleMania figure with Jack Swagger. It's like an old WrestleMania figure. Uh, this head sculpt on here looks fantastic. And then I took the Hall of Champions Target exclusive Batista boots and put it on there. And the red just ties in perfectly with this attire. And I just thought the black with the wrist tape and the red and the red. Just ties the whole attire together and he's your US champion. I thought that was a fantastic fix up as well. Next up guys we have another Frankenstein effort here. Now this is Bobby Trashley, the Elite 69 and what I did was took the upper thighs. If you guys remember this figure did not have, you know, black tights right here. It was just the regular underwear looking tights. I took the upper legs of an Elite 23 Triple H plugged them into the Elite 69 Lashley legs and then put the Hall of Champions Batista boots 
boots on it with the smaller knee pads. Really excellent fix-up. Another, you know, Frankenstein effort put together, but it calls for an amazing fix-up once you put it all together. It looks so much better than the regular one that Mattel gave us. Even if it's not even accurate, I still like it a lot better. You put the custom shirt on there, Wallabushka. Next up, guys, we have one of my all-time favorites as well. This one's really old, and I know a lot of people always tell me, you know, to switch out this head sculpt with the Elite 67, but I really just love this head on this body. I made this a long time ago. Uh, I think this is like the best of pay-per-view Elite, but I switched out the arms with his Elite 35 figure. Then I switched out the hands with one of his basics, and then I switched out the head sculpt with one of his basics from a while back. It was like on My Damn Halls episode number four or something, and so uh, th this is so sick, and then I added the custom hoodie, and it's just, it's so badass. Since Randy Orton's one of my favorites of all time, this fix-up just is timeless. I've used it for like two or three years. This this figure has not changed since the beginning of the pick fed, and I've used it on TV, on different pay-per-views. I mean, the guy just, it, it's just timeless. I, I just love this fix-up so much, so I don't know. Until they make a head sculpt that I like better, I like the Elite 67, but I just like the shaved head look better, I think, or something. I don't know, but uh, I, I, I dig this a lot. Next up, guys, we have a few Finn Balors. Now, by a few, I mean quite a few, but uh, these are pretty freaking badassery, man. I freaking love all these Finn Balors right here. I had to include all four of them. There wasn't a choice here, so we're going to run through all four of them right quick. If you guys don't know, anytime I see the Elite 74 Finn Balor in person, I always purchase one if they have one, just because I love the kick pads and the white lower legs. So basically, I took the ringside, well, this one doesn't have that look just yet because, uh, you know, whatever. But this one does have white lower legs and white kick pads. So basically, I took the ringside exclusive Finn Balor, switched it with the Elite 74 head scan, switched on some white wrist tape arms, probably from Daniel Bryan, and I switched out the lower legs and the kick pads with Elite 43 Kofi Kingston, and I acetoned all the designs off to give him that white kick pad look that he was rocking, you know, last year. And then another fix up right here that is absolutely beautiful is this is actually a Cody Rhodes figure, and I pretty much just head swapped it with Finn Balor, and then I put on some white wrist tape arms just like this one. I then switched out the legs with some uh, William Regal legs, and then switched out the lower legs with some probably Finn Balor or some other, you know, lighter skin tone, and then put some white kick pads from Kofi Kingston again on it with white knee pads, and then you have a full white attire Finn Balor. Really excellent. No paint chipping necessary. There's no paint. There's no nothing. All you got to do is just pose that bitch around, man. Really simple and easy fix up to do. And I'll probably put a smiling head sculpt on. I think it'd probably make it look better. But, you know, it works for a new Japan or whatever you want. Another Elite 74 fix up, guys, is this one right here. And all we did for this one is I think the Elite 74 has white wrist tape. We switched on black wrist tape. And then we switched out the lower legs and the kick pads with the flashback Walmart exclusive six figure or Xbox figure. And the gold and black just ties in perfectly with the knee pads and with the rest of this Universal Championship attire from Royal Rumble 2019. I thought that was such an excellent fix up. And uh, I, I got a lot of good feedback on it on Instagram. A lot of people dug that one. And I, I dig it too. So that is definitely one of my all time favorites. Another Finn Balor is this one, which I really, really love. It is the Top Talents 2019 Finn Balor figure. I put the Elite 74 head sculpt on it, and then I switched out the lower legs and the kick pads with the Elite 74 to give him a different look. It's like a silver black with the white kick pad look, and then you have the gold and black on the back right there. That That's sick, nasty farts, man. That right there, that's another beautiful looking fix up right there. Again, none of these have paint on them, so you can pose them around. You can do whatever. You can use them in pick feds and stuff. You don't ever have to worry about them chipping, and those Finn Balors are phenomenal, so I definitely wanted to include those today. All right, guys, hype around. I don't want the video to go 20,000 minutes long, but uh, let's go ahead and get some Hardys in here. We have three different Jeff Hardy fix-ups that I really enjoy. There's so many that you can do with Jeff Hardy, but I tried to narrow it down the best I could. But this one is the Survivor Series Elite with the Entrance Greats head sculpt. This one's badass because obviously you guys can probably already see. You have the purple and the green and the face paint with the black, matching with the black of the shirt, the pants. You got the black armband with the lime green and each side you got the purple matching with the purple. Pretty self-explanatory. Looks so badass. Got the gold and white in the belt. I mean, it's just a sick-ass Jeff Hardy fix-up. I, I don't know what else to say. It pops off nice. The saturation's good, and you can't beat it. Next up, guys, we have two more Survivor Series style. Using the Survivor Series head sculpt, you have the pink and black of this Elite 71 Jeff matching beautifully with the pink and black of the hair of this Survivor Series Elite Jeff. So I, I had to throw this one in there. I really love the way the colors just contrast and match together perfectly. And then we have this Elite 75 fix-up with the Survivor Series head scan. This matches perfectly for like a 06, 07 Jeff. And we have the uh, Elite 75 Jeff 
with the necklace, the Survivor Series head sculpt, and then I put the entrance grates arms on it, and it gives you a beautiful looking white and black attire with the white, and again, no paint necessary, no paint involved in these, and uh, you don't have to worry about anything chipping. Just great part switching, using your brain, putting them together to get good customs. That is what I like to see. So right there, we got the little, the little deal there. Next up, guys, we do have an Undertaker fix up. Now, this one was made at the same time as the, uh, the, the Randy Orton that we were just referring to. Basically, Basically, you take the WrestleMania 32 figure, that uh, the WrestleMania 32 Undertaker Elite, you put the jacket and the hat on there, but you switch out the head sculpt for the basic, I think, I want to say it's 74, basic 74 or 76, or possibly 75, I don't freaking know. But uh, before we got the WrestleMania 35 Elite with the, you know, the brown hair and the true effects technology, I made this way before that figure came out, and I just always love this fix up. I think it's fantastic, and uh, that's why you saw this at Hell's Gate instead of the uh, WrestleMania 35. I like the way this head sculpt looks better without the true effects so that is the reason I use this but I just thought this is like ideal Undertaker right here with this head sculpt and everything this is what I like to see for Undertaker so this is what I wanted to use for the pig fed all right guys the last few that we got right here we do have this Velveteen Dream in the Usos attire you guys saw this the other day in the Hell's Gates customs video basically just to fix up I took the Usos figure the Usos elites uh, from Elite 64 and just torso swapped it with an Elite 63 Sean Benjamin put the Velveteen Dream arms Velveteen Dream head sculpt and the Terry Funk headband with the glasses and then put the jacket on there. Calls for a perfect little attire while he's wrestling the Roman Reigns in the bloodline, man. You know, it's just a cool little attire to dig at Roman Reigns getting his head a little bit and I thought that was a really sick ass fix up. And rounding out our last four guys, we do have a couple Rollins right here. Now this is a Frankenstein effort. Basic 102 head sculpt. Elite Toys R Us cash in Seth Rollins body. Elite 57 arms with the basic, the WrestleMania 36 basic. Seth Rollins knee pads with the gold SR here, and then just regular black kick pads, and then, uh, you know, the basic 102 head sculpt. Really cool attire, really, you know, simple stuff. I'd like to see him rock that in a pick fed somewhere if somebody wants to make that. And then this one as well. I think this one's super sick. I, I really don't know why this came to my brain, but had an extra Elite 75 Seth Rollins. Uh, the head sculpt doesn't matter. You know, you can use this head sculpt. You can use the basic 102, whatever the hell you want, but I switched out the lower legs and the kick pads with the Elite 27 Kofi, and this is just a very odd looking fix up man the the orange kick pads on this figure look so crazy but i got a lot of compliments on it and i really like it it's badass it's outside the box it's just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks and i felt like this stuck pretty good brad so i went ahead and kept it and i'm gonna leave it like this i just like the way it looks it's odd it's wacky it works for me so i'm gonna leave it so there's our last two rollins in the video and then the last two that we have guys is this elite 70 Dolph ziggler fix up basically what this is is switching out the arms with the black wrist tape arms they're smaller they look better than the jacked arms they give him, you get a little black, you know, a different look. Instead of white wrist tape, you get the black. And then you switch out the boots with the Elite 39 boots. You get a full black heel Dolph Ziggler instead of the white that the figure originally came with. And then lastly, we have a Matt Riddle custom fix-up. And basically, this works. I, you don't even have to include the tattoo. I know I said no paint, but uh, I'm not including the tattoo. You could even not even have the tattoo, but it's a perfect formula for a Matt Riddle. It is the basic Matt Riddle head sculpt on an Elite 45 Seth Rollins torso, crotch, and upper legs. You switch out the thighs with Ric Flair. You swap on some UFC Jacks figure lower legs, and then you put on some Ric Flair arms, and it is a perfect formula for a Matt Riddle figure until we get one whenever the hell we get one. I think it's rumored to be Elite Series 78. And that is every one of my favorite fix-ups of all time, I think. I, I could be wrong about that. Again, you know, I'm, I'm sure I left out some. I probably missed a couple, and that's going to upset me later. But you know what, Brad? If we miss them, we can always run it back and do another video, or we can do whatever. But that is all of my all-time favorite fix-ups. Let me know what some of yours are down in the comment section below, or tag me in Twitter, tag me on Instagram, whatever, showing off your favorite fix-ups or some crazy ones that you have done. You know, we always do some surgery. We are always fixing up figures and moving them around and doing some crazy-ass stuff over here. And so, if you guys want to ever tune in and see some cool-ass fix-ups, you can come to MDT's channel because we're always switching parts and bullsh. Dr. Whitekiss always in the in the lab doing shit. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy my all-time favorite fix-ups. I think I have a roster update video coming tomorrow or something. We'll just have to see about that. But that is going to do it for my all-time fix-ups. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of all of these down in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.